I'm thinking hiking boots would have been a better choice than tennis shoes. But the tennis shoes feel so good on my feet. I just got new shoes. Do you ever have that where you get new shoes and you just want to like sleep in them? Maybe that's just me. So lately, I haven't been using my Canon Rebel. I've been using this Canon M50, just M50, it's not the two, this is a few years old. It is a mirrorless, but it's not like they're fancy mirrorless. And I'm just curious to see if it takes sharper pictures. I mean, this is on the low end, it's still a cropped image, a crop sensor, but I wanted to see if it takes sharper images than the Canon, which has been frustrating me a bit lately. The, the Canon Rebel, I mean. I have it on aperture priority uh, because there's nothing really moving where I have to worry about the shutter. Okay, so I have the picture set up a little bit like this. The idea is I, I, I didn't want to cut this tree off, so I have a little bit of an edge right here. And then the other two trees in the distance and of course the leaves. And I think this big tree here with the leaves here provides the balance on both sides. I go any further I did want to tell you one reason why I wanted to switch to this camera so I'm old we've talked about this and when you want to get a camera down to the ground I don't really want to get down on the ground myself because you know with my knee it's kind of hard to get up plus the ground is wet and then I get cold but the Canon when you put it down you have to be down far enough to see the picture on the back of the camera to see if it's set up the M50 has the screen that tilts like this. Can you see this? So that when the camera is set really low, you can still see the picture without bending down. It's pretty incredible, really. You know what's really nice about a ball head on the top of your tripod? Even if your tripod's not level, like it's sturdy now, but it's not leveled. The ball head lets you just make the camera level even without the tripod being level. Oh, now here we go. This is much better. I didn't realize further in, there's this tree with beautiful leaves. Let me put this on the camera so you can see for a minute. So you still get the feeling of like a path going into it, but what a big difference it makes with this color of this tree against the dark spruce or pine. And then the deep reds on this side. Oh man, I think I can do something here. I wish we had a little fog to kind of block some of that out, but I might be able to blur it with um, the aperture by, by focusing in on something closer and having it just fade into a blur in the background. I want to look up and get the colors, but can you see me? There I am. I want to get look up and get the colors, but I don't want to get the sky. You know, I'm not sure if any of those are going to come out, but it sure was a pretty morning. I probably should have gotten out earlier for the fog, but I'll show you the pictures I got yesterday. I didn't film yesterday. Uh, I just, was so enjoying the peace of the fog that I, I stole away that morning just for myself. But I do want to share the pictures with you and I hope you like them.
back in the car now and I just looked through the pictures from today and the truth is none of them are spectacular. I mean, the colors are nice because it's fall and they're just nice. But I'm learning this camera and I think I'm focusing so much of my attention on learning the camera. Uh, I just don't know this camera and how to switch the settings as quickly. And I think it's gonna be better because it does offer some more options. And it certainly with that flip screen makes it a lot easier uh, on my back and knees, but it's gonna take a while. And until then, it means I'm focusing too much on that and not on the composition, the color, the balance, the things that really make a great shot. So I'm looking at this as a, as a lesson to myself, and uh, I hope you got something out of it too. Enjoy your adventure. Peace.